Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you a really cool feature that you can add into your QuickBooks Online as an accountant called the Reconcile Dashboard. So when you go into the chart of accounts, you can see a red button here that says Reconcile Dashboard. By the way, anytime you see a red button in QuickBooks, such as this jump to last Reconcile Dashboard and the new button, which is a persistent new button that shows up on the top right even when you scroll down, including under batch actions, change to parent account and batch change to all sub accounts. All of these red buttons that you see can only be added a functionality into your QuickBooks Online after you installed right tool. So on the right hand side, as you can see here, we have this collapsible navigation bar that you can open and close. That is right tool. Now I'm going to show you how to install right tool towards the end of the video if you don't have right tool already, but you do need to add that into your browser in order to get this additional functionality that I am about to show you. So we're going to go in there and talk about the reconciliation dashboard. So I'm going to click right there where it says reconcile dashboard and you're going to see this pop-up screen show up called the right tool reconcile dashboard. And essentially is a single place where you can see all of your reconcilable accounts, banks, credit cards in one place. And you can see additional information that you don't currently get inside of the chart of accounts. For example, you get information like the last reconciled date. You actually don't get that information in your chart of accounts. And you'll click on that date there and it's really neat. What happens is a new tab opens and it sends you straight into the reconciliation report. And that's something that we commonly do while we're reviewing accounts in your chart of accounts. We want to kind of see where we stand before we're going to start our reconciliation process, whether we do it annually or quarterly or monthly or whatever. Then you also get if uh, a, a column here that says discrepancy, letting you know if any of these accounts have a discrepancy. What does that mean? So if I click on that uh, discrepancy amount, it takes me to the reconcile screen where it shows that my beginning balance is off and then you can click on, uh, can you help me fix it? And it walks you to the process of fixing those reconciliation issues. By the way, I have an entirely different video that walks through the process of fixing those reconciliation issues. But those are like key pieces of information that you want to see in a single place and you don't want to be clicking into one screen and the other screen and the other screen to find out, you know, when a particular account was reconciled or whether it has a reconciliation discrepancy, et cetera, et cetera. You also see valuable information like your register balance, your bank feeds balance, how many transactions are pending in bank feeds to be categorized. So for example, if I click on that 226, it opens up a new tab, which is great. Um, and then in the new tab, it takes, takes you straight into the bank feed screen and it takes you straight into the bank account that has all of those 226 pending transactions. So at the same time, if I were to click out of that, go back to the chart of accounts and click, for example, on this 46 for the Visa card payable, it's going to, again, open a new tab, basically allowing the old tab to stay open. That way I can still work on that. But then I go back into the new tab that was created and it takes me straight into that bank account on the bank feeds where we have those 46 transactions pending to be uh, categorized. So it's a single place where you essentially, it's a single dashboard where you can control all things related to accounts re and reconciliations. Now this other really awesome feature here, it says unreconciled. So for example, on this account, the company savings account, uh, the, there's four transactions that haven't been reconciled. As a matter of fact, um, there's this, this one has never been reconciled. So it will be uh, the absolute uh, 100% of all the transactions that have ever been reconciled. But I'm going to show you exactly what, how this works. I'm actually going to follow through and do a reconciliation of these accounts. So I click on reconcile. And then again, we're just assuming that we are doing a proper reconciliation. So now that this reconciliation is done, I'll go back into my chart of accounts. I'll just run the reconcile dashboard again. And then we're going to notice that uh, for this account, it shows that it was last reconciled on February 9th, 2025. Here's my last reconciliation amount. No discrepancies, of course. But now we have a transaction spending to be uh, reconciled. And if I click on that number, it opens up a new tab in the register. And only shows the two transactions that haven't been reconciled yet. Um, and just does the filtering for you. So that's exactly what the point of the right to reconciliation dashboard is, is so you can get all the tools that you need to manipulate your, all your reconciliations for your balance sheet accounts 
and in a single place to see all your accounts. There's a lot, another, a couple of uh, cool features here. You can also hide all the accounts that have zero discrepancies. So you want to focus just on the ones that have discrepancies so you can troubleshoot that. You can hide the accounts that have never been reconciled. That way you only focus on the accounts that have been reconciled before so you continue those reconciliations. You can hide accounts that have a zero register balance. Sometimes we have accounts that just have a zero amount. There's no transactions in it and we don't need to work them. Um, so that's those three little filters are really neat. You can also click on column options here. And if you have way too many columns, you can get rid of things. And that way you can sort of just focus on the data that you want to see. So if you have a lot of accounts in there, you, you could narrow down the amount of information that you see in there. So that's available as well. And of course, if you want to you know, print or save uh, this screen once a month or once a quarter, whatever you finish, you can export this into a CSV. And you basically can open it in Excel and then you know print it out, save it, whatever. You have your sort of permanent record of what your uh, snapshot of all your reconcilable accounts look like at the end of each month. So very excited about the reconciliation um, dashboard. Uh, 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 not just that, but there's a million other tools. So not a million, but there's hundreds of other tools that you can get by installing Right Tool. Now I want to walk you through really quick on how you install Right Tool. For the time being, I'm going to go ahead and uninstall it real quick. So I'm going to go into my extensions and just uh, get rid of Right Tool, just so you can kind of see how easy it is for you to get rid of Right Tool or install Right Tool. So I'm going to refresh my QuickBooks, and now Right Tool is going to go away, and you're back to plain vanilla QuickBooks Online without any other additional tools. So let's talk about how to install Right Tool into your browser. So we're going to go into writetool.app. Okay, that's our website. I'll put the URL in the description below. And we'll click on the very first link that says download right tool into your Google Chrome. Again, Microsoft Edge works as well. We click on that, and that's going to take us into the Google Chrome Web Store, where you're going to see a right tool for QuickBooks Online, and you're going to see a button that says Add to Chrome. If you don't see Add to Chrome, you must be in a browser that's not compatible with Chrome extension. So again, if you're in Safari or Firefox, you're not going to be able to install the extension into your browser. You have to be in Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Brave, or other Chromium-based browsers. So you'll, the only way you'll know is click on the link that I'll put down there, and then you click on, uh, if you see Add to Chrome, that means you're good to go, it will work. So then you click on Add to Chrome. It'll ask you, are you sure you want to add to Chrome? You can click on Show Details, for example, so you can see what websites does um, Right Tool have access to. It has access to uh, your QuickBooks Online and Right Tool Pro, of course. So once you click on Add Extension, uh, you're going to see a pop-up of the privacy policy. You can X out of that. Notice that it didn't ask you for a user ID or password or a credit card or anything like that. Now it says Remove from Chrome. Obviously, we're not going to click on that. I'll go back into QuickBooks Online. I'll click on Refresh. And then once I refresh the screen, now we're going to see Right Tool pop up on the right-hand side. Now when you first install Right Tool, you're going to be on the free version. So there's a 100% free version. That's ad supported. You're going to see ads here on the bottom of the screen. And then to enable certain features of Right Tool, we're going to click on the settings button right here between the gear menu and the, and the, the microphone. We'll click on the settings button. And then in here, we can search through every single feature you can turn off and on. Okay. So this particular feature is under Experiments Pro and it's called Reconciliation Dashboard. Now, when you have the free version, some features you won't be able to turn on. Anything that's under Pro, you have to be on the Pro version or the paid version of Right Tool. But anything that's above the line here that doesn't say Pro in it, all these features you can turn off and on using the free version, which is extremely feature rich. And if you want to see what every one of these features do, all you have to do is take a look at next to the feature, there's going to be a little eye with a circle. If you click on that, it will give you the description of what the feature is. And I'll give you a quick video, usually between two to five minutes, explaining what every one of those features do. You're going to see that I'm featured in a lot of those videos because I am the co-founder of, of Right Tool. So you can really go through all these uh, videos, even on the pro features. You can go through all the little videos and see what they do. And there's a search button, which is really cool. So if you want to search for, for example, all the tools available in the chart of accounts, 
you just literally just search chart of accounts in there, click on search settings, and then it'll give you all the features, the free ones and the pro ones that you can turn off and on to manipulate or work with the chart of accounts. Now, when you're ready to, um, to set up a pro account, you can click up here in the button that says upgrade to pro. It's gonna send you to the right tool page. You can do a 14 day free trial. So you can either choose uh, the monthly plan or the yearly plan. By the way, this is not per client. This is not per company file. This is for the user. So if you have a firm with multiple users, you'll be paying $75 for the very first user and then $25 a month for each additional user. If you're a solo accountant that only working by yourself, then we'll just be working 75 bucks a month and that's it. Whether you have one client or a hundred clients, it doesn't matter. Now, if you're not an accountant, you can use Right Tool Pro as well, but this is mostly for accounting professionals, CPAs, bookkeepers, tax preparers that do a lot of work in QuickBooks Online and it's worth for them commercially to pay the 75 bucks a month to get those additional features. So then we're gonna click on try now for 14 days. You're gonna enter your information here. You click on add uh, your card information and then you'll be immediately entered in a 14 day free trial. It won't charge you until the 40, 14 days go by and then afterwards it would be the 75 bucks a month. Once you create the account and you log in, you're gonna see your uh, Right Tool Pro account. You can click on Pro Users here under Account Info and then you can see all of your employees that you can add. So you can click on Add Pro Member and you basically add each employee at that $25 a month fee so you can have multiple people working on Right Tool. And then here on this is Fort, this is where we're gonna have a, a couple of other member-only benefits like special courses, resources for QuickBooks Online Power users. So anyway, so once I, I create my account and log in, I should be able to refresh my QuickBooks and then I'll be focusing on right there on the Right Tool logo and then I'm gonna see that on the on, right under it, it will say Pro. So once you're in the Pro account, then you can see that Reconcile dashboard and then you can save hours and hours doing your monthly, quarterly, annual reconciliations of all your accounts and knowing where everything is uh, uh, right before you start working. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. We'd love to see in the comments what you think about this. What else you, you want us uh, over in the right tool world to develop to make your life easier in the QuickBooks world? Put it in the comments below. See you in the next one.